Hey guys, so today Apple released yet another update for the iPhone. Yes, Apple today released iOS 17.2. Point one. We talked about this before. Apple is planning to address a few issues on the iPhone. And this is quite interesting because typically Apple does not release any software updates for the iPhone or any other products towards the holiday season or leading towards the holidays. And here in the U.S. next week will be the week of Christmas. And typically we don't see any betas or software releases. So this year is quite different. And it is because one thing, and I want to talk about that towards the end of the video. So of course in this one, we'll talk about what's new with iOS 17.2.1 because aside from this software update Apple also released a new update for older iPhones so if you have an iPhone running iOS 16 or an iPad running iOS 16 you now have available a new update for you as well so iOS 16 0.7.4 is available for the iPhones running iOS 16 and iPads running iOS 16 as well. Now, interestingly enough, Apple did not release 17.2.1 for the iPads, at least not yet. These are the only software updates available as of today, as of right now, for everyone to download, even macOS 14.2.1. As I mentioned, this is quite interesting because Apple typically doesn't work this time of the year, so it is important for them to actually fix and address some issues happening here. Now, of course, you can go onto your iPhone right now if you're running iOS 17. You can head on over into settings, go into general, and then go into software updates, and iOS 17.2.1 should be available for you to download. And now, a few things I do recommend you do immediately after you update your iPhone is number one, check for carrier updates, and number two, make sure you update your applications for better compatibility, of course. So let's go into settings here and check for carrier updates once you update your iphone you simply jump into settings go into the about section and if there is a carrier update available for you to download it would pop up on the center of your screen in this about section of your iphone now keep in mind not everyone will get a carrier update but if you do have one as i always recommend make sure you update your carrier settings that's one of the things i recommend you do right now immediately after you update now for those of you of course who download third-party applications basically everyone you want to head on over into the app store as well and inside of the app store you want to click on your avatar here and then you want to swipe down on this page to refresh and if there's any app updates available you should see those available for you right there again even if you have the automatic app updates feature enabled you want to jump into your avatar once again and then refresh the page and you should see third-party app updates available for you as you can see right there make sure you update your application and your carrier settings right after you update to ios 17.2.1 so why is apple releasing a new update right now towards the holiday season when they typically don't release any updates well in case you didn't know the apple watch is facing a band in the u.s so apple has till december 21st to release a new update for the apple watch in order to comply with accusations of a patent infringement on the oxygen sensor for the apple watch but we did not see any updates for the apple watch today so we are still waiting for apple to hopefully release 10.2.1 for the Apple Watch and maybe 17.2.1 for the iPad in the next 24 to 48 hours as well. So make sure you stay tuned here to the channel for more updates on that. I don't think Apple wants a ban to happen. That means Apple can no longer sell Apple Watches if they don't try to at least make a software change here in the next 48 hours or so. Today is the 19th. They have until the 21st of December 2023, I believe, in order to comply with this law. Now, if we go into Safari here and we go into the security of iOS, macOS, and iPadOS, we see that iOS 17.2.1 and the new iOS 16.7.4 and iPadOS do not have any security updates available here. We do have a macOS 14.2.1 update available. As you can see right there, there's one security patch here, Windows Server, so that one is being patched for macOS users. But as we take a look here at the release notes, Apple just simply says this one provides important bug fixes 
and it is recommended for all users. They do not mention security patches at all, so they just say bug fixes on this one. We're not exactly sure what Apple is fixing with this one, but I believe they're preparing the iPhone to implement a new fix for the Apple Watch maybe in the next 48 hours in order for this to work for them in court when they go to present their you know new patent infringement claims and they try to see if the Apple Watch can be fixed with software. I think 17.2.1 is preparing the iPhone for that Watch OS 10.2.1, hopefully coming later this week. If not, Apple will have to stop selling Apple Watches here in the US. And that means that this software update only brings minor bug fixes that Apple doesn't really specify, right? They just say bug fixes and that's it. I know a lot of users were complaining that sometimes when they try to rearrange their icons on the home screen, sometimes the messages application would disappear. But I don't think that should be important enough for Apple to work at a time when they typically do not work. So again, Apple has about 48 hours to provide a new software update for the Apple Watch. And hopefully this means that Apple does not have to stop selling the Apple Watch in the coming days. So stay tuned here to the channel. Minor update here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.